All right, guys, you're getting your wish. I'm in New York City, I'm, they put us in a hotel in Manhattan for some reason, an hour away from LaGuardia, but here I am. Turns out I'm a little over half mile from Red Caboose Hobbies. I called open, and the nice gentleman there said he was gonna stay open for me so I could come over and do a video and some pictures about the hobby shop in New York. So I'll see you in a while when I get there. And this is the red caboose. Oh, right through the shot. There's some nice built mod, nice, nice built ups. Well, that's an interesting one. Somebody got lost. And this is the way down the stairs. The store's in the basement. Obviously railroad centric. You go around the corner here, a few more steps. This is one of those places where there's enough oh. stuff in the nooks and crannies that are stashed away to keep the average model builder interested because this is just a little nook off to the side. All kinds of stuff. Testers, easy builds, and Revell kits. And here's the main store or part of it. It's a little bigger inside. It's deceptive because everything's, of course, has to be packed in so tight. There's all kinds of stuff. Machining Krieger. And... Excellent supply of spray gun equipment. Probably one of the best I've seen. Okay. I have been looking for one of these things forever, and he's got one. And this is the Glencoe uh, repop of the old Adams kit, the Vanguard. And, uh, well, I guess I know what I'm going to buy. I hope he takes plastic. The Red Caboose Hobby Shop is uh, operated by Alan Spitz. It's at 23 West 45th Street in Manhattan, New York. And Alan's a great guy. He, spent, he took plenty of time to talk to me and he's got all kinds of inventory. This place is packed in pretty tight, but it's got pretty much anything you could want in the way of models. It's got railroad, sci-fi, aircraft, ships, the works, got a lot of models on display, tons of tools, paints, and a lot of pretty hard to find stuff too. I mean, it really is a well-stocked shop. And nothing in this shop wastes time with the uh, pretty boy aesthetic. This is a pure hobbyist shop. Everything is stacked to the walls, which is just the way we like it. A lot of the local folks' uh, builds are on display, and every nook and cranny's got something in it. He's, he's got all the wild scales and various kinds of stuff. Extremely knowledgeable guy and very, very friendly. Alan's got a lot of energy, and he really uh, was fun to talk to. He also... Uh, will probably have stuff that you're not going to find outside of the internet. And uh, I really don't know what else to say about the place other than if you're in New York, you've got to stop by the Red Caboose. He actually, I was thrilled that he was uh, familiar with the channel and he'd seen a few of the history videos. And he was really interested in uh, how things are done in the model industry, the technical side of things. So uh, I'll just uh, run some images here guys can uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the uh, footage. He's also got uh, books and things as well. Just all kinds of stuff. More than we could really have time to get into. Uh, a great guy. I hope you get a chance to stop by if you're in Manhattan. And I want to thank Alan for taking, gosh, he kept the shop open an extra hour while we talked about just all kinds of stuff. He's also quite the local historian. Apparently at one point there were four different hobby shops on that one block and uh, his is the only one that survived and it dates back to uh, the 1930s. I think he said either 1928 or 30. I think he said it first started in 28. So uh, it's still around in one form or another. And uh, you know how much we all love that stuff. So this is Max and Max's Models. Uh, enjoy and uh, guys, thanks for watching. Model on.